कंट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ पार्टिकल प्रेजेंट एट डिफरेंट लोकेशन लुक इन दिस टॉपिक वॉट वी विल अंडरस्टैंड we will understand when a particle is present at the corner it can be present at the body center it can be present at the face center and it can be present at the edge center whenever it present at the body center face center edge center or corner how much it contribute for the one unit cell this we have to understand so one by one we will cover all the particles first particle at corner the particle which is present at the corner this particle actually the part of the eight unit cells suppose we have to discuss we have to consider this particle this is the one of the particle at the corner this is the one unit cell but when i draw the total crystalline system then let's see how it look like that this particle is present in the eight unit cell this particle of the corner is present in the eight unit cell it is present in the box number 1 box number 2 box number 3 and box number 4 This particle is present in the box number one, box number two, box number three, and box number four. And this particle is also present in the box number five, box number six, box number seven, and box number eight. Particle which is present at the corner, it is actually the part of the eight unit cell. If one particle is equally present in the eight unit cell, so contribution of that particle for the one unit cell is only one by eight. So contribution of corner corner particle in one unit shell is only one by eight particle at body sent this particle this is a body center we have and this particle is 100% present inside only one box if i take this example so the particle which is present at the body center that 100% present inside this one the contribution of the particle which is present at the body center is always one because this particle is only present in the one unit shell particle present at face center these are the two unit cells and these two unit cell they have one common face this face is a common and if we have one particle on this face this particle is present in the box number 1 unit cell number 1 and 50% this particle is present in the box number 2 this particle which is present at the face center so this particle is present half in this box and half in this box particle of the face center is 50% present in the box number 1 and 50% present in the box number 2 it contribute only half every particle which is present at the face center always contribute half for one unit shell particle at edge center look now i will draw the four unit cells these are the four unit cells and we have one particle at the edge center if we have one particle here so this particle is present in the box number 1 in the box number 2 in the box number 3 and in the box number 4 contribution of the particle of the edge center is 1 by 4 per unit shell or we can say every particle which is present at the edge center contribute 1 by 4 for that unit shell 